Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. Um, today I'm going to be unboxing the Cupstone Alley Special Edition box. Finally, like this box took ages to get here. Um, normally it should have been here by the end of June, but a few things happened um, at the Cupstone Alley headquarters and all of a sudden it was a month later, but we finally got them and I can't wait to open this one. Uh, this is my first Cupstone Alley box ever and I'm so just so curious to see what what's inside and all the fun goodies I just know I'm going to get from them and yes so this is what the box looks like so it's still a flying parcel but this time it's a special edition one and the top says I hope everything went well in there the top says happy birthday uh, like the birthday cake Hagrid um, made Harry and it's just, it's a really cute box. I really love these colors. They are pink and green. And the box is just huge just and heavy. Just having to carry them is um, quite a feat. Yeah, and that's it. That's, uh, this is my box now. Um, I suggest we open it and see what's inside. But first, if you're new to my channel, hi, my name is Angela and I make Harry Potter videos. Please click the subscribe button if you want to stay up to date about everything that's happening here on my channel. And now, let's see what's inside this box. Okay, let's open this box and see what's inside. So, I'm not going to carry it to show you because it's so heavy. I'm just going to open it and look what's inside. Okay, I mean, yeah. So the first thing we see is pink tissue paper. Normally they do the tissue paper in the color of your house. Um, for my, uh, for me it's Hufflepuff. Um, but because it's the special edition birthday box, I think they went with pink. Um, and I don't think there's anything house related in this box, but I'm not sure yet. Um, let's have a look. Let's peel this paper off and see what we got. So this is what the box looks like from the inside when you open it. And as you can see, there are a few very interesting goodies already. And I can't wait to show you them. Um, I suggest we just start with the most obvious item. And that's this uh, Funko Pop. It's not really a Funko Pop, I think it's rock candy. I know because I've already got them all, so uh, this is a bubble for me. But that's okay. So this is Hermione. Um, Hermione uh, with her Hogwarts robes on and uh, her wand in her hand. And like I thought, this is a rock candy version of her, so it's a bit different than a Funko Pop. Um, I think it's still um, made by Fango. Not sure though. Um, as you can see on the back, there are also Harry, Ron, um, Luna, and Bellatrix you can collect. I got all of them, so this is a duplicate for me, a double. But that's okay. You can never have uh, enough Hermione's in your life, so I like to say. And she looks just really cute. Then the next item inside this box is this purple t-shirt, I think, and I'm not sure what it says. Oh, I'm going to show you guys first. So this is the t-shirt and I have no idea what it says. Oh, it's a chocolate frog. Oh, oh, that's nice. Like chocolate frogs are my favorite kind of candy. So, oh, this is a really nice t-shirt. I'm just... This is a medium in size, and I'm just not sure if this is going to fit me, to be honest. Um, but we'll have to wait and see. Um, but this is a really nice t-shirt. I really like the color as well. Purple is um, a color that fits me. Yeah, I'm really loving this t-shirt. It's really cute. 
Okay, the next item is black and I think it's a sweatshirt sweater. Um, but black is not really my color so uh, this is not going to be it. But I'm showing you guys again. I hope you can see this. Um, I have no idea about this so I'm going to take a look myself. Oh, that's the Ministry of Magic. Armor training. Oh, that's nice. Oh, that's actually pretty nice, like, horror training. I can still use this uh, shirt for um, for studying or when I'm in my dorm room just relaxing. Uh, this is a really nice one as well. I do like the chocolate frog a bit better though. And then on to the next item. Um, I'm going to take this first. So it's got the Ministry of Magic seal on it. And let's see what's inside of this. Just a sticker. Look up here. I really like this paper thingy that they wrap their presents in. It's so much better than the plastic. Okay. Oh, I think it's going to be a wand. Ooh, let's see which wand we got. Guys, this is Professor Slughorn's wand. The horns, the slugs, uh, slug horns, yeah. <laughs> and well, it's stunning. It, I'm, I'm wondering if it's handmade because the painting looks like it's hand painted, to say it like that. Oh, and it feels really good, like, it feels quite sturdy. And heavy, like it's not a lightweight wand. Okay, let me show you from a bit closer. I hope it focuses on the wand. Oh, that this wand is really beautiful. It's also the kind of wand that you want in your collection, but well, for me, it's not immediately the wand I would buy at, for example, Noble Collection or the Harry Potter Studios. But when you get it like this, yes, this is amazing. Just going to wrap it again. Then, the next item the next item is Cozy Alice Remus Lupus Chocolate Tea. Chocolate Tea! Oh, one cup a day keeps the mentors away. <laughs> oh, that's amazing. <laughs> one cup a day keeps the mentors away. I don't doubt it. But uh, chocolate tea, that must be... Uh, the case. Um, I'm just going to open it if I can. Open it, not sure. Uh, let's take a look and oh whoa. Oh that's just pure chocolate. Uh, I don't know if you can see this. I hope you can. So this is Remus Lupin chocolate tea. It smells amazing. It smells like pure chocolate. That's incredible. I can't wait to taste this. Like, I'm a real tea drinker. I just love all kinds of tea and I can't wait to try this one. One cup a day keeps the dementors away. I hope it's true, guys. I really do. Then, the next item 
is an item I was really looking forward to as well. Because it's in every box and it's one of the reasons why I really wanted a Gobstone Alley box. And that's their candles. Their incendio candles. And this one is Luna and the Quibbler. Ooh, Luna and the Quibbler. And it's a really stunning candle. It's a light blue-greenish color. And it looks a bit weird, just like Luna. <laughs> a light blue greenish color. It's it looks very summery to be honest. Let me open it. Oh oh that smells amazing. Lavender? No. Oh it doesn't say what's in it. Okay. <laughs> I'm going to try to see what's in it, but it's just handmade, 100% vegan. Oh no! It's watermelon. And it's what you can see on the uh, sticker on the front as well, watermelons. Oh, and it smells amazing. Normally I'm not a big fan of watermelons though. Only when I'm on holiday, for example. But this, this is very good. This is what it looks like on the inside. I hope I'm not going to throw everything. So it's uh, the light blue greenish color with um, some red sparks in it. And yeah, it does remind me of watermelon. That smells amazing. I'm not sure yet if I'm really going to light these up or if I'm just going to keep them as a souvenir and put them in my um, glass cabinet, for example. So I'm still thinking about that. I didn't know I'm going to be using Remus Lupin's chocolate tea though. Can't wait to try that one. Okay, the next item is a small item that I'm absolutely loving. And that's this Happy Birthday Harry cake. And it's a pin and I collect pins, for those of you who don't know. so. This is just amazing. I'm loving this pin. I've been looking at Etsy shops for quite a while now, but I've never ordered there before, so um, I wasn't sure if I should or shouldn't. And then I really wanted this pin, but now I've got it, so yeah, this is amazing. Then the next item in this never-ending box is an item that's probably melted by now because it's such a hot day and it's this chocolate frog. Um, I do hope my wizard card survived though. Um, let's take a look and see which one we got. Oh, the wizard card is in... Is in a, in a plastic bag, so we've got Pomona Sprout, Professor Sprout, and head of Hufflepuff House, which is my house. So yeah, I'm really happy with this card. I've never seen these cards before. I do know they exist, but I've never had one of these. Pomona Sprout, head of Hufflepuff House, squat little witch who wears a patched hat over her flyaway hair. There is usually a large amount of earth on her clothes and fingernails. Yeah, that's cute. And we've got a small chocolate frog who hasn't melted yet. Look at this. The chocolate frog. Okay, and then we still got a few items left because this box is huge and there are a lot of items in it. And the next thing is table gobstones. Never heard of it. Oh, let me show you. So, table gobstones. Oh, they are like glass stones. Table game for two players. Oh, so this is probably going to be the manual, how you have to play it. So, as you can see, this is some kind of game with different kinds of... Um, I don't know, cobstones in it. We've got white ones, black ones and clear ones. Um, oh, and a silver one as well, apparently. So I'm going to have to figure out how this works, though. Never heard of the game. If anyone has, please let me know in the comments how to play it.
Any help is much appreciated. Okay, on to the next item, because otherwise this video is going to get way too long. Oh, that's nice. So the next item is this tote bag. And the tote bag says, oh, Harry Potter on one side apparently, I didn't know that. And on the other side, it says, I would rather be at Hogwarts, which is completely true. I would rather be at Hogwarts indeed. But this is nice. I really like these colors of red as well, although it does remind me a bit of Gryffindor. Oh, and it's got a nice uh, clip on the inside, so that's really handy. So, oh, it's got an extra pocket as well. An extra pocket on the inside. Oh, this is cute. Cute tote bag. Oh, the, the next item is my favorite, I think. These are Luna Lovegood's glasses. Oh, this is amazing. Let me try these on. Guys, I'm seeing everything reddish and bluish through these glasses. I wonder if these fit me, if they look good on me. <laughs> and this is my favorite item, best thing I ever got. I'm going to be wearing them day in and day out. Every day of the week to work, to friends. Oh, I think that's so bad for your eyes though, to be honest. If you wear them. Everywhere and anywhere. But I love them. They are great. And then we're coming to the last few items. We've got this red and brown tissue paper. And this is, oh, I think this is breakable. Uh, yes, it's a mug. Yeah, it is. Okay, so guys, this is a butter beer mug, and oh, it looks so cute. So it says butter beer since 1452, the three broomsticks. And on the other side, it says Hogsmeade's finest butter beer. Oh, th that that's amazing. Oh, that's just oh, that's a really fun item. That's a really fun item. To have. And then we're getting to, oh, to, I want to say to our last item, but that's not true, because we still got a lolly, a Honey Jukes lolly. Oh no, it's a Cozy Elf's lolly. Honey Jukes secret recipe, though. Okay, so it's a Cozy Elf's lolly, but made by Honey Jukes. I'm really going to enjoy this one. And then we are at our last item, and that's something soft. Whoa. Oh, what is this though? So it's a big orange matte kind of thing. I think it's part of the Table Gobstones game. To be honest, I don't know for what else um, it could be. I still need to read the manual <laughs> of the game, so. I'm not sure. Uh, we'll figure it out. I really love the color though. It's the color of Hufflepuff. So that's nice. I'm wondering if um, people who are in Gryffindor or Ravenclaw or Slytherin got one in blue, uh, red or green. But this is not. It's handmade. So it says handmade here at the bottom. I think it's part of the gobstone, table gobstones uh, game. It's so soft though. And then, we and then we still got our list with items that were in this box. So that's it for my very first Gobstone Alley box. Um, I really love this box. There are a few items that I know I will be using immensely. There are also a few items that I won't be using as much, like for example the table Gobstones. I first need to figure it out how it works and such. I'm really happy with what I got, with the amount of items. Like, this box was huge. It just kept on coming and coming. Um, and yeah, and although it, it is a month later, so, so which was a bummer, to be honest. But in the future, I think I might order a new one. But I'm first going to see if um, it happens more often or not that their boxes are 
late to be honest okay if you like this video then please give it a big thumbs up and subscribe to my channel if you want to see more videos in the future and that's it for today guys i hope you like this video and have a nice day bye